A time to face the problem of low pulse sound sources when we connect earphones to their linear output. This is most often observed in all kinds of domestic appliances with low voltage linear output, as well as in sound reproducers that have no built in power amplifier and are designed for application with an external sound amplifier. This situation can be easily resolved using a simple earphones amplifier that can be assembled at home and at no substantial cost. We would need the following components to put the device together. A small printed circuit board portion, doesn't matter which kind, it should simply be enough to mount the components, one chip and two capacitors. Then, if we wish to, we can fit a sound controller, could be coupled and mount it on the chip's input. And the last thing, two capacitors for the output. That is basically the entire circuit. If we have no components at all, we could go with discrete wiring. This is all done very quickly with the help of soldering iron and solder, depending on your skills and resources and at no significant cost. Now let's briefly look at the device. The TDA7050 chip is a power amplifier enclosed in the DIP8 case. It is normally used as an earphones amplifier and works in a range of 1.6 volt to 6 volt at low current consumption. The amplifier's power depends on the supply voltage. At the maximum supply of 6 volt and load of 32 ohm, it reaches 100 milliwatt. There is no other option for connecting the chip. It is called a bridge circuit. There is also another option for connecting the chip. It is called a bridge circuit. When a bridge circuit is used in the monophonic variant, the amplifier's power increases twofold.